They're wartime words which are synonymous with Remembrance Day across the world. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Now, Lawrence Binion's 1914 poem, For the Fallen, has been turned into a song by a classical musician with a forces family. And she's donating the money she gets from downloads of the track to this year's Poppy Appeal. They've become legendary lines and they never fail to move us as a nation when we hear them in remembrance services each year. It's the most famous fourth stanza which adorns war memorials throughout Britain and the Commonwealth. This haunting rendition, which includes some of the less well-known verses, will be sung here near Saffron Walden this Sunday. I tried with the chorus to make that bit quite uplifting because of the words, because I've got a friend and she said that the, the worst thing about dying is being forgotten and as long as you're not forgotten, then you're not really dead. So that was kind of the idea behind the chorus, to keep it a bit positive. Extracts from For the Fallen have been set to music before, by Elgar and for other choral performances. Amateur musicians have worked it into their own tributes to servicemen, but a charity download on a trendy website ensures the cause is being taken up by a new generation. I noticed that they were um, appealing for people because they were saying that a lot of the people that were selling the poppies and things were, you know, getting maybe too old or whatever, retiring, and that, that they weren't being replaced. I read some stories about um, people that are fighting now in, in, in Iraq and places like that, and where people judge them on their political views, but, you know, whatever their views are, they, they do their job. Eleanor's uncle's a padre in BFG, so she's known the separation from loved ones that service life can bring. Her local branch of the Royal British Legion's grateful for the boost to its funds that Eleanor's donation will bring. We always try and beat our target every year because, of course, the need is still there for all these poor boys who are suffering in Afghanistan and Iraq. Quite near here we've got Carver Barracks where the Royal 33rd Regiment Royal Engineers are stationed and they came to talk to us about their job and only a few days ago one of their sappers, they're called sappers, uh, had his leg blown off in Iraq and we then took a check up to present to the family and to that boy for what he suffered. Eleanor Purcell's version is available to download at broadjam.com forward slash the fallen. It only costs 99 cents and all proceeds are going to the poppy appeal. Julie Knox, BFBS Reports, Essex.